I'll stop at Kingston, uh -huh. which is 50 miles below Albany, yeah. uh, along the Hudson River, Yeah. on the west bank. The west bank of the river, Albany and Kingston are on the west bank. The main, in the main line, the main line of the New York, and, but this, the, the main line of the New York Central Railroad mm -hmm. ran from New York to Chicago. Yeah. On the east bank of the Hudson River, on the east bank. When it got up opposite Albany, it had to, the trains had to make a left turn to go over a railroad bridge over to the Albany station. Mm -hmm. And then they take on passengers, discharge passengers, and back across, and then go on up to Utica and Syracuse and so on up to Chicago. Yeah. So that was the main line. But on the West Bank of the Hudson, where Albany and Kingston were, it was what they called the West Shore Line. But it was a part of the New York Central system. Yeah. It ran from Albany down to Weehawken, New Jersey. So anyway, I stopped off to stopped off to see my aunt this evening, and when I got there, she was, and June was there. She At your was, aunt's house. A friend of hers. My aunt was. Uh, well, she must have been only about five years older than me. Oh. I mean, it was a big family. My mother had five, uh, five boys and three girls. Wow. Eight, 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 eight in a family. And Frances, Frances, uh, my aunt, uh, she was next to the youngest, so she, she wasn't too much older than me. Anyway, June was a friend of hers. And of course, when I was going to come up there, and she knew I was coming, she had June over there. So that's how I met her. Was you she up. trying to set you up? Huh? You think she was trying to set you up, or she had no idea? She, huh? Do you think she was trying to set you up with June, or do you well, think she didn't realize? I guess that's in the back of anybody's mind. Yeah. Uh, she knew I was coming, and she figured, well, if I have a friend up, June up there, it'll be good company, you know. So, we had a good evening. <laughs> Did you get her number? And the next day, no. <laughs> and the next day, she wasn't working at the time, June wasn't. Yeah. She didn't have any kind of a job anyway. She worked in a five and ten cents store or something like that. No, no education, no job. <coughs> anyway, she wasn't working at the time. So the next day, I took her to a movie. And then in the evening, uh, I, you know, left the movie, I said goodbye. And in the late afternoon or evening, my aunt and her boyfriend drove me up to Albany. That's how I got up to see my parents. Hmm. And June remembered you from that movie day. The next morning, the next next morning, the phone rings up there. June, June, June was on the phone. Oh. She says, "I'm coming up." Wow. <laughs> That's pretty forward. Yeah, I'm coming up. <laughs> you must have been pretty suave, Grandpa. Well, I was a uniform. I was a uniform there. Yeah. Girls go gaga over your I think it was more than the <laughs> uniform. I'm coming up. Okay, what what time does the West Shore train get in? Okay. I go down and get on a trolley car. We lived up in the west end of Albany. Get on a trolley car and get down to the main <laughs> part of the town, the railroad station. The West Shore train pulls in, passengers get off, other ones get on. No joke. <gasps> so I go to the telephone booth and call my mother and say, June didn't show. Okay. I come out of the telephone booth. There she is. Aww. It's 
like a movie. Huh? It's like a movie. Yeah. What happened was that at Kingston, when a train from Weehawken to Albany pulled in and discharged passengers, took on other passengers going to Albany, June didn't get on the train. She stood there on the platform alongside of the train yeah. and watched the train pull out for Albany without her. She just stood there. And <laughs> she was so. <laughs> she was gaga. She was flustered. Yes. She was thinking about me. Yeah. And she let the damn train pull out without her. So you waited for the whole next train? No. What she did was got a taxi, took her down to the river. To the next stop? Got, got a. Uh, the ferry over to a little town across from Albany, uh, from Kingston called Rhinebeck, yeah. which was a, a station stop on the main line. She, she got on the main line train, come up, over to Albany, and there she was. <laughs> that's pretty incredible, Grandpa. And so that's the end of the story? That's when you were together? Because huh? you'd only had one date. Were you together after that? Well, uh, yeah, I used to get, uh, I used to get, uh, weekend passes, uh, I don't think we, hate, I don't think we, uh, processed, uh, recruits, uh, on the weekend, so, so I could generally get a, you know, leave, leave down there. So you go down to visit her every weekend? Huh? You go down to visit her every weekend? Go down to visit her? Yeah. <laughs> you sly fox. No, she came up. Oh. She came up from Kingston. Every weekend she'd come visit you. Yeah, yeah. She came up on a bus. Did you give her a pass? What? Did did you give her passes or she made her own way up? She made her own way up on a bus. Okay. On a bus from Kingston. Okay. So I'd meet her in New York and uh we'd spend a the weekend there. Nice. And then you asked her to marry you? Huh? And then you asked her to marry you? Well, I don't know. I don't know who is. Yes. I didn't have to ask her. Wait, she asked you? <laughs> I don't <laughs> Grandpa. <laughs> no, I don't. You didn't get down on one knee? Huh? You didn't get down on one knee? <laughs> Those were different no, times? I don't, know, I don't know how it came about, but it just, just happened. To me. You don't remember asking her to marry you? No, I don't remember the details. Yeah. I was in the Army then, of course, and I couldn't get off all the time. Yeah. And uh, I know we. I don't know how the details were, but we decided to get married. And, uh, got married up in Kingston. Uh, the Reverend Aldermore, or whatever his name was, was a pastor of the, I guess it was a Dutch Reformed Church. I don't know. It's, it's what, where my, where Joan and her parents went to church anyway. Anyway, they, that's, that's where we got married. And that was in 1943. Hmm. 1943. Well, maybe it was 